I've got a 2000 Jeep Cherokee here that's got uh, an issue with the throttle position sensor. And I've got a check engine light on for it and uh, drivability is affected. So what I think we just have is a bad throttle position sensor. It doesn't need adjustment, it's just failed. Throttle position sensor is down here on the shaft of the throttle body located on this uh, light colored plug I'm touching. All right, now, the uh, check engine light tells you you've got a, a uh, sensor out of range. So let me show you what code we're getting right now. So we'll ignore that first one, because that's not related. Come on. All right, throttle position sensor voltage too high, and it is. And you'll see, start since set 10. So this has been happening a little bit here and it hasn't cleared up. We've reset it and it comes right back. So there's definitely something up with it. So I am going to exit out. I'm gonna show you a little bit of troubleshooting we can do besides just replacing it. So if I take a look at the sensor raw data for this one, You'll see, here's my TPS volts, and then my minimum, and then my percentage, all right? And see how my percentage is reading uh, 0%? Well, I expect that because it's sitting off right now. But what I, don't, what I do expect is that it would change when I open up my throttle. Also, the TPS volts, this just from previous experience, I know is too high. That's reading basically five volts, which is the maximum supply. These are all five volt sensors. So that means it's returning 100% of the supply voltage for the sensor, which is not correct. Now the real tell here is I move my throttle. See my voltage changed just a little bit, but I'm over here on my hand going from uh, totally closed to wide open throttle. And as you can see, my voltage just barely changes, but my percent doesn't. So really, what I would expect this to do is at 0% position, I would expect about 0.9 volts. And at wide open throttle, where I have it right now, I would expect about 3.9 volts, and I would see 100%. And I'm not seeing that. So I'm saying this sensor is just totally failed and dead, and it doesn't even need a little bit of adjustment. Now... To get this sensor out, you're gonna need a Torx 20. Let's see if we can see that there. Torx 20 will come in. There's two bolts, uh, little machine screws that hold it in from the side, and uh, they're held in with thread lockers, so they're kind of hard to get out. So let me go ahead and pop that out, and uh, we'll take a look at it and put in our new one. So first thing you'll need to do is reach down and unplug it, which should be a simple task but these old plastic connectors can be kind of brittle. All right, we got that out of the way. I'll just try to pull up on this tube to get that out of my way. All right, it's unplugged now. I'll just push this plug out of the way. Now I gotta get down and uh, unscrew that. All right, so I just removed the old one. I've got the plug there. I've got my new sensor here. And real quick, we're just gonna test it before I bolt everything in. So I'll come down, I'll plug it in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch uh, to see the uh, percent opening go from zero to 100. So I'll come in here with my screwdriver. And look at that, it goes to 100 and back down. So this one is good, it is working. So now I can go ahead and uh, bolt it in and calibrate it. All right, we've got it installed. I just checked it. There is wide open throttle. We're going to 100%. Closed, back to zero and 
This particular throttle position sensor doesn't really have any adjustment on it. Uh, some of the older ones, I think, or the aftermarket ones, you can kind of tweak them left and right to make sure you get 100%. This is an OEM sensor and uh, fits right in and it reads zero to 100% like it should. So uh, I'm done with this now. I can tighten that back up and clear my codes. So that is the short of how to replace your throttle position sensor and troubleshoot it and see what the issue is with it. All right, last step, I'm gonna go ahead and clear out these codes. Unrelated and throttle code, P0123. We'll erase it. And we'll reread. Now we have no DTCs because it is working correctly. Whereas before, it would come right back because it was just not reading correct at all. All right, if that was helpful to you, if you like that, hit like, hit subscribe, helps me out. Uh, even if you never come back to troubleshoot this again, a subscribe or a like will really do me a lot of good and uh, getting some attention. All right, thanks for watching.